Hello, everyone. It was confirmation time, and the bishop asked a boy to describe a saint for him. When the lad showed some hesitancy, his lordship pointed to a stained glass window enshrining the patron saint of the parish. The sun was shining through at the time. Now the eyes of the young hopeful followed the bishop's pointing finger and then reverted to him with a gleam of recognition. A saint, he said, is someone who lets the light shine through him. Now saints are guided by the light of faith in the big and little decisions of life. For them, their faith is not something which they practice for an hour on Sunday and then forget about for the rest of the week. For the saints, God is part of their everyday lives. It informs all that they do and are. It's Halloween time again. In pagan times, it was regarded as a night of fear when demons roamed round to welcome the winter darkness. Now, while on this subject, I don't think it's right on Halloween to send out children as devils or vampires. That would be resurrecting its pagan origins. For those who don't value the saints, the eve has become hollow rather than hallow. It's like celebrating New Year's Eve without the New Year's Day. Our faith forces us to combat the dark forces of this world which will include shady areas in our own lives. From reading the lives of the saints we see where they were painfully aware of their own sins and weaknesses and so were no strangers to confession for instance. We should become familiar with the lives of at least the more prominent saints. They are our heroes. There are hordes of books these days on fantasy and fiction, but in the saints we're dealing with real people who are now in heaven praying for us. We can't but be inspired by their lives of faith. Catholic children should be strongly encouraged to become familiar with the lives of these holy men and women. When I was at secondary school, that's not today or yesterday, one of the books on our recommended reading list was entitled Saints Are Not Sad. Now the impression you get sometimes is that a saint is a forbidding sort of person, a sort of joyless creature who's lost touch with the real world. They say that Padre Pio, Saint Padre Pio now, the stigmatist, he had an impish sense of humour that lit up the lives of his confreres in the community, not at all like the forbidding person he sometimes portrayed as. Sainthood and sadness just don't mix. The demons of Halloween are depicted as welcoming the darkness, characterised by the end of summertime, but the saints, on the other hand, welcome Jesus, the light of the world, into their lives and follow him with a lively faith. Thank you all for listening and God bless you all. Oh.